Did your Apple Thunderbolt display start flashing and turn black only to never turn back on again? Well, in this video, I'll show you step by step exactly how to fix that so you can get back to working on this beauty in no time. All right, guys, I want to start the video by showing you guys what my display was doing, uh, flashing and eventually going black, never to come back on again. And here are the items we'll need to complete this repair. Links in the description. We'll first start by laying down the monitor on its back on top of those two towels to create a sturdy surface. Then we'll get the suction cups and we'll start pulling on the corners gently. Once we have a couple of suction cups on the corners, we can start pulling the silica display back just enough to get your fingers underneath, run your fingers through, uh, through the top of the monitor and pull back gently. This display is held in by magnets. Here are 12 screws, T10 Torx screws that we will have to remove. Using our T10 screwdriver, let's go ahead and remove those 12 screws. Once those are removed, we can start by lifting the display gently. And here you'll see the four connectors that we'll need to remove in order to separate the LCD display from the frame. I'll start by pulling this one that is the closest to me. I'm looking at the, you're looking at the monitor here uh, from the top. I did remove um, the two other uh, cable connectors uh, that you see there uh, dangling right above the ground cable I'm about to remove. Again, this is using that T10 screwdriver. Be careful with those two um, connectors. They're very uh, fragile. Now that the four connectors are removed, we can go ahead and lift the LCD display. Here you see the one connector, two connector, and the screws that we have to remove that hold this logic board in place. This small round plate holds the back of the Thunderbolt cable. We'll begin by detaching the first connector up on top. Next one. Gently, these things are, have been here for a while. So take your time. Using our T10 screwdriver, we'll begin by removing the rest of the screws that are holding that logic board in place. Next, we'll go ahead and remove the round metal plate that is holding the back of the Thunderbolt display and make sure to save or put aside this last screw because it has a different thread than the other two. So make sure that you put that one back with that ground cable. Now go ahead and remove the metal plate. There's some adhesive tape here uh, holding uh, those cables in place. So go ahead and get that tape out of the way so that you can fish out the cables, uh, specifically the MagSafe uh, connector. Go ahead and unhook that. It has a little clip that you have to press uh, right there. Go ahead and press on that clip and pull it out gently. There's more tape holding the cables uh, to the back of the monitor. So go ahead and pull that gently in order to fish out the cables from the grooves. If you need to pry with a plastic the rest of the connector, 
go ahead and do that in order to get it loose. More tape on this side. Make sure you remove that. Put it to the side so that we can keep fishing the cable out. That piece of tape is holding the Thunderbolt cable in place. Let's go ahead and remove this connector up on top of the logic board. The cable is too rigid and you'll have a hard time. It has a clip there. Go ahead and press on the clip and gently pull out. Now using our T6 screwdriver, we'll remove the two screws that are holding the Thunderbolt cable in place. Once we have the two screws and the metal plate completely removed, go ahead and gently pull the Thunderbolt clay cable away from the logic board. Now we can fish the rest of the Thunderbolt cable through the opening. And remove it completely. Hey guys, I hope you're getting value out of this repair video. If you are, give the video a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel for more content just like this one. All right, here's the new cable. Let's fish it through and start putting this thing back together. Take your time. This cable is rigid and it'll take uh, a little bit of uh, wiggling around in order to get it to seat in the three holes. Go ahead and loop the cable in the same groove um, the other one was in so that when you rest the LCD cable, nothing is going to get crimped. There's a little groove there for the cable. Go ahead and connect the MagSafe, the MagSafe power supply. Now let's connect the new Thunderbolt cable to the back of, of the logic board. Go ahead and put the metal plate back on and the two T6 screws that hold it in place. Make sure not to over tighten. Let's go ahead and put this connector back in place. Sorry for covering that part of the, uh, the video. As you put this logic board back in place, uh, make sure that all your ports are aligned with the back of the monitor. 
the openings. So make sure before you put this, uh, your holes are aligned. Now let's go ahead and put the T10 screws back on the logic board to secure it to the back of the display. Let's connect this cable here and the second one up on top. We'll put the metal plate back on to secure the back of the Thunderbolt cable. Remember not to over tighten and remember to use that one screw with the special thread to finish securing the plate and the ground cable. Now it's time to connect the ground cable from the LCD to the logic board. I found that the monitor in its upright position gave me the best angle to go ahead and connect these four cables back to the logic board. We'll go ahead and connect this second connector back in its place. We'll do the second, the third actually, the third connector back in place. And now the last one, which seems to be the hardest because it's, it's, it's a very thin sleeve and then the cable has a tag. Once you put in the sleeve, now you have to rotate the clip with the tag the other way. I try to get a better angle for you guys um, shooting this video by myself it was uh, my hands are big and it was a tight spot but you can see it, the sleeve just goes in and you flip the tag around and that should be it so now we have all four connectors connected back to the logic board We'll go ahead and replace the 12 T10 screws to secure the LCD to the back of the monitor. If you have any compressed air and a lint-free cloth, go ahead and give it a wipe down before you put the silica glass back in place. This has a little nod towards the bottom and you can use that as a guide. Now, here are the two connectors that I used to connect my 2018 MacBook Pro to the display. This is a Thunderbolt 2 to USB-C connector and a MagSafe to USB-C connector to power the display. I'll put a link to both of these down in the description below. And now for the moment of truth, let's see if this thing works. Voila, amazing. The reason why I decided to take on this repair project was to be able to control the brightness and the volume levels to the, my display uh, right from the keyboard. And as you can see, we are back online.